Yarn, I'm Kath from an Australian-born company called ResMed. Although nothing can compare to the incredible efforts worldwide by healthcare workers fighting this fight, we at ResMed feel incredibly fortunate to be able to play our part due to our long history over 30 years in respiratory care and sleep. Today, I'm really proud to introduce some of my fellow ResMedians who are working hard behind the scenes on the designing and building of our ventilators in Australia. So I just wanted to say hi, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. It all started back in January uh, when we f heard the first cases outside of China and really um, China jumped on it uh, pretty quickly and asked us to ramp up the supply of ventilators in China. There have been many moments, particularly in the beginning when we were looking at EPI models and the demand on our production. We were looking at what we were able to ship into the region and the huge list of orders that we had from customers. And there would just be these moments of silence on the video call where you could just see everybody doing the maths. In some situations, patients who are fighting the COVID-19 virus are going to be unable to breathe on their own. Uh, and that's where our ventilators are able to assist them by providing that pressurized air deep into their lungs. People may be familiar with our CPAP machines. And on one level, our ventilators are similar. They blow air into the lungs. But on another level, they're very different. Uh, the ventilators have a much more powerful motor. They have a whole range of therapies that allow for uh, up to intensive life support. Everyone in ResMed comes to work with the same mindset. And I imagine this is the same for other ventilator uh, manufacturers in the world. For every ventilator I can produce, it will help save another life. There's a lot that goes into one of our ventilators. For example, our, our astral device here, which is being used currently. I guess one way that I've looked at it is we have crawled through our supply chain to look at the hundreds of components that go into our ventilators to be able to see where the bottlenecks are, where the constraints are. Uh, I think fortunately actually being based here in Australia, we get the benefit of different time zones. So we're able to work on things during the day and it'll get handed over to our teams over in the regions who'll get to work on it through the night. So we get this huge advantage of the offset in time zones. Um, and I think that Aussie can-do attitude has really played out too. For the last few months, hospital systems and governments have really just been trying to get as many ventilators from anywhere. I feel like from a demand point of view, um, we've been able to, to really help out with that. We've got millions of sleep patients around the world as well. So we've got our engineering teams uh, across ResMed continuing to drive that innovation from what we've learned in COVID in respiratory care to make sure that sleep patients are still getting set up and, and getting treated for sleep apnea, which is just as important. I think through those times, we've been able to reflect on the number of products we've been able to get out and the number of lives that that has saved. And that's been really, really humbling. Thanks guys for sharing those further insights of what's going on behind the scenes. But before we leave, let's hear further from our team that are working tirelessly in manufacturing. Hi, I'm Nancy. I belong to ventilation team. Uh, we're the one making the ventilators from ResMed. Um, at the moment, we are so busy. I work in the ventilation area. We make the machines that go where it's needed, which is right around the world at the moment. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Um, we've been producing a lot of masks and we're really busy. Um, we've been doing it for the COVID-19. So yeah, everyone stay safe.